So what's up guys, Jermaine here, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Jermaine Young. I talk all things financial related, that be stocks, real estate, credit cards, things like that, different side hustles. So if that's things that you're into, consider subscribing to the channel. Greatly appreciate to have you here. So today what we're going to be talking about is some cracks that I see in the housing market and how you could potentially benefit from this, benefit from this and what you should do going forward. So, again, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right in it. All right, good people. So I came across this article here. It says, the housing market has about 40% fewer homes for sale than before the pandemic, and the listings keep falling. Now, we gotta divulge what is going on here with the housing market and why is there so many less homes than before the pandemic. Now, reason being is a lot is that during the pandemic, everybody wanted to kind of move out of major cities, go to, you know, places where you can buy single family homes. So a lot of that has been eaten up where people have bought into those single family homes. And also during that time, it was record low interest rates. So like me, myself, back in 2021, I bought another house, my sixth property, where I only have an interest rate of two and a half percent. Now, two and a half percent interest on half a million dollars in real estate it's pretty much free money you know it's it's really nothing at all you can during that time you can negotiate with banks you know get interest rates lower today is a different ball game you know interest rates around six seven percent is like the highest i've seen and that would make someone's mortgage payment around on a half a million dollar property you know from what it was in 2021 about maybe like six hundred dollar difference so people are saying well hey i got this house already i got a record low interest rate i don't want to sell it so they're holding on to those properties so you have less people putting properties on the market because they bought all of those now another big factor here is that a lot of investment companies have bought into single family homes markets now they've been going into a lot of markets like say like in texas florida that whole sun belt um thing also like in the south and the carolinas now understand this anytime these big investment firms come in and buy up single family homes they're using them for the purposes of renting them out and collecting that rent cash flow every single month now when these investment firms buy these homes like blackrock and whatever else they have no intention on ever selling these homes so all of these thousands of homes that have been bought up by these investment firms are very likely never ever returning back to the market so those are homes that you could just scratch off the list they're never coming back they're never going to resell it's not like somebody that bought a house they live in a few years they may want to downsize because they don't have kids no more or they want to relocate nah these companies they bought them with the sole purpose of cash flowing every month so they're never going to put these properties back on the market so with that with the fact that you have people like myself that have good interest rates and they're like we're not going to sell these to you know go buy something else to get another higher interest rate this doesn't, doesn't make sense so that combined together those two things kind of make a a perfect situation where you have 40 percent fewer homes for sale than before also factor in the fact that home builders aren't building houses as fast as they should and as fast as they once were even before the 2008 crisis so you gotta understand that with these record high interest rates it costs more to do business you know so now they have to pay more money to build these homes then also you have home buyers that are saying well i can't really afford to buy a home no more because they're pretty much priced out of the market because they can't afford to say pay uh extra six hundred dollars on top of what they would have paid just back in 2021 with a lower interest rate that's something a lot of people just can't afford so they're priced out of that and they're thrown back into the rental market so then you have people that do want to buy and they're hit with higher prices this is why home prices are keep going up because it's less inventory as you see here 40 percent fewer homes for sale less inventory creates higher prices high prices mixed with high interest rates creates danger in the housing market you know it's kind of hard for people to get in so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below thanks to, uh, for watching see you guys in the next video as always the next time peace